How did you ladies phrase this? A super dream team? team? The dream team. The dream team is here. <laughs> there you go. All right. All uh, right. That's so noted. Well, now you're up here. <laughs> All right. Motion to approve the issuance of retention payments in accordance with the American Rescue Plan Act to current County of Lebanon employees based on hours worked during the 12 week shutdown from March 22nd, 2020 through June 13th, 2020, as well as other COVID matters. Payments shall be issued on a sliding scale from categories as followed. One, $1,000. A, $1,500. B, $2,800. C, $5,500. D, $7,600. And E, $10,400. These payments shall be issued to eligible employees in the following groups. Non-union, Chocolate Workers Union, AFSCME Union, Detectives Association Union. Eligible employees must be currently employed as of the effective date in active status and have worked through the 12 week COVID shutdown as outlined above. Payments effective June 22nd, 2022. I would gladly make a motion to support our ARPA um, bonus retention for all of our employees listed and thank this group of illustrious ladies, the Dream Team, for their hard working and pulling it together. Thank you. Thank you. I'll second the motion. It's been moved and seconded. And I'll just add that um, these are the employees during that 12 week period that uh, really stepped up when needed um, because public safety does not take a, a vacation. And all, all the other required departments that uh, we needed to keep operating, uh, many of those folks worked in the unknown because this was new to everyone. We didn't know where it was heading and, and they answered the call. And so uh, this is uh, through ARPA. We're able to recognize that, and uh, we, a lot of uh, hard work went into developing this list, and um, we're glad that we're able to recognize the, the good work of our employees for this uh, effort. Anything else? Jamie? If I may just speak to ARPA for a moment, since sure. this is an ARPA eligible uh, <clears throat> expense, ARPA allows for not only the 24 7 public safety, uh, you know critical services to to be eligible for this but also supporting services so you know that broadens the circle that's you know initially it was believed that ARPA was going to allow for this uh, for correctional officers dispatchers you know that that you know uh, health care workers at Renova that sort of thing uh, but as the final rule came out um, and interpreted legislation in order for those people to be able to do their job, you also need them, the, the, the managerial people, you need the payroll people, you need the, even the building and grounds people, you know, to maintain the facilities that have to stay open and so on. So that very much broadened the circle and this is not unique. Other counties uh, have done this um, and some of the parameters were modeled after what other counties have been doing and um, mm -hmm. It's, you know, it's really great. One of the things I just might add to the, the people, you, uh, Commissioner Phillips, you said the people who you know, kind of stuck through during that period of time and have since, you know, ARPA's aim here was retention. They didn't jump ship. <clears throat> and they've stayed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is, the, this is a recognition of, of uh, that retention, so. That's and, and why you didn't there was eligibility mention criteria. the mental health and children and youth and uh, I, or, uh, yeah that kind of services you still have to continue and they were in close contact sometimes yeah, so yeah, I, God bless them all. Don't mean to miss anybody. No, it's no, hard no. To but catch just, them all, but yeah. Yeah, just uh, letting <clears throat> that know, be known. Mm -hmm. Do we know how many people this is going to impact and how much we're looking at? We're looking, I can tell you the, the, the second part of that question, we're looking at uh, as of today's approval and there, may, there, there still may be some others. Uh, one of the bargaining units, uh, we are still in talks with about the parameters and the, and the, uh, um, the side agreement for, for payment to the members of the union. But um, all total as of today is 2.1 million. Numbers of employees? Do you have a count? Uh, you know, you have numbers by department. Do you have a, do you have a count of the number of people impacted? No. That's not we can that's count a question them we asked ourselves. We <laughs> just went through it and did it and didn't yeah. really count that up, Jim. But, uh, but it's in the people that are in all those categories Michelle listed that are also still with 
Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's in the hundreds, the numbers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. So anyway, this is our uh, moment to pause and, and reflect and, and thank them and, and recognize them with a little bit of a financial reward. So, all right. Uh, any other questions? If not, all in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Same sign, so moved.